if you're willing to do, like if somebody were to look at you and say, hey, I want to be, I want to be like you, they got to do what you're doing. You know, they can't just say, I want to be like you. I mean, it's one thing to be metaphysical about it and say, I'm going to visualize myself being healthy and fit. But then there's something in the Bible that says, you know, faith without action is dead. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Thrive State Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. V, triple board certified MD and performance and longevity expert. And on today's episode, I introduce a very special guest that has a device that actually works on improving your brain. Now, over the past few years, we've seen the world have more mental disorders, such as depression, anxiety. Now, over the past few years, we've seen more reports of people reporting anxiety or depression. We've had more people report that they have been unhappy. We have more people say that they've got brain fog. What's happening to our brain? Well, part of it is the lifestyle that we're all living, not eating good food, not sleeping well, not moving very well, not being in the thrive state and the seven things that I talk about there. But not only that, not only that, people are suffering from digital dementia as devices, social media, web, TV have hijacked our attention. Our brains are not functioning the way they used to. So how would you like to learn about a technology that could actually bring your brain back into homeostasis, into a, a place that is functioning at its best? Now, before we dive into the conversation, if this podcast is giving you any value, Go to ratethispodcast.com slash Thrive State and leave us five stars. That will really help the podcast grow. If you haven't already picked up a copy of my book, Thrive State, know that putting yourself in the Thrive State will actually alleviate a lot of the cognitive decline you may be experiencing. You can go pick up three free chapters sent right to your inbox by going to thrivestatebook.com. And if you would like to work with myself and my team a little bit closer, take the Thrive State Accelerator online course by going to kianvu.com slash accelerator and using the coupon code podcast25 for 25% off. Now, our next guest is actually a fellow speaker at the Biohacking Conference. He's an award-winning author, educator, consultant, entrepreneur, and speaker. Now, with over 20 years of experience operating the largest self-help franchise in the world, he has become a highly sought after expert within the personal improvement industry, having sold over 3 million copies of his self-help products worldwide. Dr. Patrick Porter has been on the cutting edge of brainwave entrainment technology for 32 years. He was a co-developer of the MC2, the very first light and sound brain training machine voted best new gadget of the year at the 1989 Consumer Electronics Show. And his entire team was voted the best new health app at 2019 Consumer Electronics Show. He'll be joining me at the Biohacking Conference this year in Beverly Hills. Check out biohackingconference.com and use the coupon code DRVUU10 for 40% off. Ladies and gentlemen, Please enjoy this conversation with Dr. Patrick Porter. Well, in, the, in our world, we call it psychoimmunology, which means that our brain, our thoughts are affecting the way our immune system functions, but also mm -hmm. meaning the pillars of brain function. Uh, so when you think about, um, not, sorry, not dopamine, but cortisol and adrenaline are the two killers. So when you think about the stress we're under, they say that during 2020, average brain shrunk three quarters of an inch because of all the stress. And the, the hippocampus is responsible for bringing us those long-term memories, the, even the pleasant or the bad memories and bring them into real time. If we're stressed out in number one stressor, I think right now, and I love it when they interviewed uh, people in the Amish community, they said, what are, you, what are you guys doing for COVID? They go, we don't have COVID here. We don't have the news. You know, so, it's, <laughs> so you know, yeah, I think that, we're we're all going to get sick. We should get through it. Then this has been a wake up call for people. If you sure. can take care of yourself, you breeze through this. You know, I supposedly had COVID, but I didn't have any symptoms. But I've been taking care of myself, and I and I do believe that this is the time when people are finding that 
supplementation is not an option. It's yeah. an essential now. And, you know, it used to be um, nice to have or something, but people are taking care of themselves. And now when you when we're being plagued by things like COVID or whatever's going on out there, it's showing up and people are finding, hey, this is happening. And now the fear factor is there because they've done a really good job of creating fear. And that's the, mm -hmm. the biggest factor in um, just immune function or neurological function is stress, fear, anxiety, and when our brain gets out of balance because of that, we know it happens because of sympathetic overdrive, and we need to downregulate that. And plus, uh, one thing that, that happened during the, the first year anyway, the second year maybe not so much, but the first year of all this was we were told to stay in our homes. Well, we are supposed to be outside. We're like, we're mm -hmm. basically solar panels. I'll put it in perspective for people. If you've ever been doing a project, let's say you had to write a paper, you're sitting down reading a paper, but somebody keeps coming in and bugging you, asking you questions, and then you got to reset yourself, get back in your mindset, write the, then somebody else comes in and bugs you, you have to reset. That's what's happening all day long. The average person looks at their phone 300 times a day. That's a dopamine addiction. You know, yeah. so, you know it's just like playing a video game. I mean, if you saw, a, a, you might have seen a QEG of somebody after they played video games. We did this with some people uh, in Dallas. They were the Dallas Cowboy. They actually have a team that plays video games all week to prepare mm -hmm. them for the real football game on Sunday. These guys, their brain was shot. It looked like they were out doing drugs all night long, but all they were doing was playing video games for four hours. Like when I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at you right now, yeah. there's millions of pixels there. And our brain is trying to figure out each pixel and trying to project predict when it's going to change next because it knows they're changing. This episode of the Thrive State Podcast is brought to you by the Thrive State Accelerator. The Thrive State Accelerator is actually a home course that I developed using the exact same techniques I work with my celebrity clients, CEOs, and executives on how to get them to the Thrive State. The Thrive State Accelerator teaches you how to master your seven bioenergetic elements, that's sleep, nutrition, movement, stress and emotional mastery, relationships, our thoughts and mindset, as well as purpose. In this Thrive State Accelerator, you're also gonna get a bonus module on optimization. That's how I talk about supplementation, peptides, all the optimization techniques I use with my clients to get them to the Thrive State. Now, for some of you who are just joining us for the first time, you guys might be wondering, what is the Thrive State? Well, the Thrive State is actually the energy the epigenetic environment we give to ourselves, telling ourselves, telling our DNA how to act and how to respond. And if we want optimal health, longevity, and peak performance, if we can master these seven bioenergetic elements, our ability to have those three things that we just said, optimal health, longevity, and peak performance is at its greatest. And it also prevents you from getting chronic symptoms like brain fog, being overweight, feeling sluggish, acne, pain, all these chronic symptoms, as well as preventing you from getting chronic disease. So getting to that thrive state is really getting to that state to master being that very best version of yourself so you could show up for you, for your family, for your business, everything that's important to you. So go ahead, check it out right now at kianbu.com slash accelerator and use coupon code podcast25 for 25% off. Now back to the podcast. When people go and have this digital dementia, it, it seems like, you know, some some people want change in their life, but they're they're not changing. There's something holding them back. And there's a lot of research out there on something called the default mode network, which is basically, you know, a central part of our brain that picks up a lot of information. But a lot of that information they get at a very, very early age. So it's a lot of old information and a lot of it being being wrong too. And so that that tends to run in the background when we're not paying attention, we're not in flow. And so it, it would appear that, you know, if your attention span has lessened with digital dementia, your ability to pay attention on the person you want to be also lessens as well. Oh, yeah. They say we now have the uh, the attention span of a goldfish, goldfish about five seconds. You know, so, so, but what's happening is that when the when the brain starts patterning like that, we start to recognize that our subconscious, which Bruce Lipton talks about in Biology of Belief, which I believe to be true, is that 95% of our life is controlled by our unconscious. Most people are trying to make those changes on the conscious level. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
going into the receptionist and saying, you know, I'd like you to do this, this, and this. And the receptionist goes, that's a great idea, but I'm not the boss. You got to get to the boss. That's the subconscious or the default mode network. You can call it the reticular activating system. There's a lot of different names for it. But what's happening is we go on default mode all the time. Yeah. We're too, too, like I said, all that information is happening all the time. Our body has to process it. There's no possible way. Now, there are certain people that are gifted, like they can hear things. We, we think they're gifted because they can hear things that we don't hear. But if you and I were sitting at a uh, coffee shop or whatever, we're having a, a cup of coffee or whatever, talking, three tables over, somebody says biohacking, you and I are going to hear that three tables over. Mm -hmm. Because our brain is processing that information. It's just not making it consciously aware to us because it's not relevant. But all these systems were put in place 200,000 years ago when we were whatever, however we were created, because they protect us. You know, this technology is really, you know, taking the, the differences, you know, playing two different frequencies in each ear and creating a phantom frequency that actually matches, you know, a frequency of a particular brain state that we want. Is that how, how this thing works? Yeah, we do it with light and sound, though. So Amazing. let's say it with uh, a tone. We might want to get a 10 hertz frequency, which is alpha. We'd put a 3 hertz in one ear and a 300 in the other. The brain doesn't hear either of those. It hears a phantom sound. Well, we found there was a little bit of advanced, two different things I'm going to talk about. One is when you do the flashing lights and we match the right ear with the left eye and the left eye with the right ear, the brain starts to synchronize. And basically, it stays awake. What happens under stress is typically one hemisphere will shut down, one hemisphere will be dominant. And that's why we recommend like Tai Chi or yoga or dancing, something that involves whole body movements. Of everything that you've done in life, you know, I know you've studied ancient wisdom to the biohacking stuff. For you, what has been your best medicine? My best medicine is making sure every morning I get my brain right. I mean, I, I went through a little bit of problem too. I tell people I had my mental breakdown at 24. So, you know, where most people wait till they're 30 or 40, you know, so I, I had my breakdown and what I really realized and I used to have stomach ulcers so bad they were bleeding. And and I knew Silva. You know, my dad, I grew up with it. But when I went into, after you graduate from college, nobody told me you had to market, <laughs> run a business, <laughs> you know, and all this. So, you, you know, you go get a lease, you, you hire a receptionist, you, you think you're in business and nobody's showing up. I mean, I was super stressed, but I realized at that moment, I was the one who needed what I was giving. I hope you enjoyed those highlights from this week's Thrive State podcast. To hear the full episode of the podcast, you can listen at Apple iTunes, Spotify, or wherever podcasts are heard. Now, if you're enjoying the content, please help this podcast grow by leaving us a review at ratethispodcast.com slash Thrive State. Also, if you really want to get into the Thrive State, people ask me, where do I start or how do I get deeper? Well, here are a few resources for you. Number one, you can pick up three free chapters of my book at thrivestatebook.com. In addition, if you want to go a little bit deeper, get to meet myself and my team and get some online coaching, we have an online course called the Thrive State Accelerator. It's the same material I go through to get my clients into the Thrive State Go to tianbu.com slash accelerator and use the coupon code podcast25 to receive 25% off. And yes, I am a concierge physician at the Vu MD Performance and Longevity Clinic. I have a very small concierge practice, but if you or somebody you know may want to be a client, consider applying at tianbu.com slash V-U-U-M-D. And until next time, remember always, always, always that you are your best medicine.